launched the missile and then all of a sudden they had a whole bunch of nuclear explosions, right? <laughs> yeah. So maybe we need to think of something a little bit, but their, their ROV, um, you know, is very, very maneuverable and versatile. And I think it was Babs that one year was able to do a full entire backflip in the water. And uh, it's those kind of things, you know, where you just marvel at the technology that's coming out of here and the creativity that people are, um, you know, using their knowledge and also trying to sharpen their skills. So we're going to have to think of something extraordinary to see if we can really challenge you guys. Yeah, have them use Wii controllers. Yeah, there you go. So maybe the of something as positive autonomous. As, you know, yeah. yeah, we'll have Wii to. controllers. So you see them <laughs> dancing out there on the poolside. That would be very entertaining. But it's interesting when we talk about the adult teams that compete here as well. And we do want to invite more uh, corporate people and, and adult teams to um, compete because um, this year we just, the typewriter repairmen were the only ones that qualified. Correct. So just because they're experienced doesn't mean that uh, their designs are necessarily the best and everything works just right. But we do have a lot of ideas flowing around in the pit area. I believe we had two other adult teams that uh, uh, were trying to compete and did not uh, did not qualify. And the last three teams that are going at midnight and 12:40 and 1:20, these are actually experienced teams um, that have really great designs and really great ROVs, and um, we can talk a little bit about the the. A curve um, robot um, that's coming up next. They actually had uh, machined parts, and their design is really, it looks really good. Right. If there was a war an award for aesthetics, their, yeah. their award is just a, a beautiful design. I mean, they, they would win that hands down, I believe. Absolutely. And I think it was in the technical inspection that they. They had some sort of an issue with how they were um, powering um, their battery. Yeah, there, there's the issue is is that uh, you're allowed to have your robot powered with a 12 volt, uh, 12 volts of power. And um, what had happened is all the teams that we have competing except for them, their inverter that converts it from 120 volts down to 12 volts is out on dry land so they're only sending 12 volts down the line down the tether to feed their robot well when you have divers in the water you you know 12 volts isn't bad if there's a little short it's not going to be a problem well the asu team had their inverter on the robot so they were feeding 120 volts down into the water so there was a little bit of a safety issue, and with uh, the help of some of the other mentors here, they actually tried to convert their, their bot so they could just send 12 volts down the line um, in order to compete. So it was quite a technical feat for them to do that. They've, they're going to have to have someone monitor throughout the remainder of our collegiate experience and professional career. And one of the things to notice about this team is, again, the look of the, the ROV, the machine parts. Um, I believe that this team actually was able to do this as a project, a capstone design project in their engineering curriculum at U of A. So, um, that was a really important thing that they were allowed to do at the university level is to actually integrate this into their coursework and get credit for it. So yeah, that's a great great opportunity uh, for the students and uh, we'd like to thank the university again for allowing them to do that. So it looks like we may have... 
I think they're waiting for the A curve um, robot. If it's if it's actually he had to take everything apart again, there was some sort of a power conversion issue um, that would have ended up being something that the divers <laughs> probably wouldn't want to be around. Um, and so he had to take the whole thing apart and try to to deal with the issue. And I'm not sure if he's got it up and running again. Okay, we'll know here in a few moments if uh, they're going to be out to compete or not. Um, again, uh, they were a little bit ahead of schedule, so if they were working towards a 12 p.m. start time, um, we're, uh, we're uh, a little bit of ways from that, so they just might not be ready yet. And I know it's getting late, but 12 a.m., <laughs> That's right. It feels I'm like sorry. PM, but it's 12 AM. AM. That's right. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's uh, my times are a little bit off here. Yeah, I'm, and I'm I, actually. I'm thinking it's 3 AM already. I, I, I'm at 3 AM right now since I'm on Ohio time and trying to stay on it because I have to go back. But, yeah, we're here in the viewing area. We've got a couple more audience members. We've got people who are staying up late with us and. That's great that they come down to see us. Yep, it was nice of them to break away from their home parties to come down here. They now they, they see that seating is available, and uh, they're able to come on down and uh, participate at the site. It's sort of like you know if you go to a race, there's one thing to watch it on TV, but there's another thing to be there and watch it live. So it's great, uh, great to have you all here this evening. And it sounds like uh, they may be headed out towards the pool here momentarily, so that's, that's great. And we'll get some, uh, some video of that as soon as it is available. May not be available yet. Not a whole lot of light out there, so they're uh, back in their way, working, working their way out uh, from the pit area to the pool area. It's a few moment walk. And uh, so, Don, as an engineer, and you see these competitions a lot, especially the robotics competitions, what do you think the difference is between the students who actually participate in these events and these things uh, when they're in high school and going through college um, to the, the traditional people who just go through the, the school programs and become engineers? Is there a difference, or can you tell us anything about that? They seem to be much more engaged. They're, they're more willing to take chances. They're more willing to be involved. Um, they're, not, they're not afraid to make mistakes because they were challenged in these programs um, and found out that it's okay to make a mistake, and you can learn from those. Um, the only time a mistake is bad is when you don't learn from it. And these, uh, the students that participate in competitions like NERC and like FIRST Robotics, uh, students that start younger um, in the LEGO League programs, um, as, they, as they grow, they, they just, uh, there's much more confidence mm -hmm. that they have within themselves. And uh, it's not just the hard skills that they learn, there's a lot of soft 